Hello everyone! Today, we'll have a new lesson about history of computers. A computer is an electronic device that manipulates information or data. It has the ability to store, retrieve, and process data. You may already know that you can use a computer to type documents, send email, play games, and browse the web. You can also use it to edit or create spreadsheets, presentations, and even videos. To recall, a computer is also a machine that can be instructed to carry out sequences of arithmetic or logical operations automatically by a computer programming. Modern computers have the ability to follow generalized sets of operations called programs. These programs enable computers to perform an extremely wide range of tasks. A complete computer including the hardware, the operating system, and peripheral equipment required and used for full operation can be referred to as a computer system. This term may as well be used for a group of computers that are connected and work together, in particular, a computer network or computer cluster. The computer was born not for entertainment or email, but out of a need to solve a serious number crunching crisis. By 1880, the U.S. population had grown so large that it took more than seven years to tabulate the U.S. Census results. The government sought a faster way to get the job done, giving rise to punch card-based computers that took up entire rooms. Today, we carry more computing power on our smartphones than was available in these early models. The following history of computing is a timeline of how computers evolved from their humble beginnings to the machines of today that surf the internet, play games, and stream multimedia in addition to crunching numbers. Let's discuss the computer history by timeline. During the pre 20th century, Devices have been used to aid computation for thousands of years, mostly using one-to-one -one correspondence with fingers. The earliest counting device was probably a form of tally stick. Later, record-keeping aids throughout the Fertile Crescent included calculi, or case peers cones, which represented counts of items, probably livestock or grains, sealed in hollow and baked clay containers. The use of counting rods is one example. The abacus was initially used for arithmetic tasks. The Roman abacus was developed from devices used in Babylonia as early as 2400 BC. Since then, Many other forms of reckoning boards or tables have been invented. In a medieval European counting house, a checkered cloth would be placed on a table, and markers move around on it according to certain rules as an aid to calculating sums of money. The abacus. Abacus also called a counting frame is a calculating tool that was in use in the ancient Near East Europe, China, and Russia, centuries before the adoption of the written Arabic numeral system. The exact origin of the abacus is still un unknown. The abacus essentially consists of a number of rows of movable beads or other objects which represent digits. One of two numbers is set up and the bids are manipulated to implement an operation involving a second number or really a square or cubic root. 
In 1801, in France, Joseph Marie Jacquard invents a loom that uses punch wooden cards to automatically weave fabric designs. Early computers would use similar punch cards. Jacquard loom used metal cards with punch holes to guide weaving process. First stored program such as metal cards, first computer manufacturing, and is still in use today. During 1822, an English mathematician Charles Babbage conceives of a stream-driven calculating machine that would be able to compute tables of numbers. The project, funded by the English government, is a failure. More than a century later, however, the world's first computer was actually built. He is the father of computing. During that time, analytical engine could store numbers or calculating meal, use punch metal cards for instructions powered by steam, and accurate to six decimal places. How about Ada Lovelace or Augusta Ada Byron? Augusta Ada Byron worked or was an English mathematician and writer, chiefly known for her work on Charles Babbage proposed mechanical general purpose computer. The analytical engine. She is believed by some to be the first to recognize that the machine had applications beyond pure calculation and is believed by some to have published the first algorithm intended to be carried out by such a machine. As a result, she is often regarded as the first to rec recognize the full potential of computers and one of the first computer programmers. During 1890, Herman Hollerett designs a punch card system to calculate the 1880 census, accomplishing the task in just three years and saving the government $5 million. He establishes a company that would ultimately become IBM. The Hollerett punch cards used for the 1890 U.S. Census were blank, following that cards commonly had printing such that the row and column position of a hole be easily seen. Printing could include having fields named and marked by vertical lines, logos, and more. During 1936, Alan Turing presents the notion of an universal machine, later called the Turing machine. The Turing machine is capable of computing anything that is computable. The central concept of the modern computer was based on his idea. Followed by 1937, John Vincent Atanasoff a professor of physics and mathematics at Iowa State University attempts to build the first computer without gears, cams, belts, or shafts. Then on 1939, Hewlett Packard is founded by David Packard and Bill Hewlett in a Palo Alto, California garage according to the Computer History Museum. The Hewlett-Packard Company, commonly shortened to Hewlett-Packard or HP, was founded in one car garage in Palo Alto, California by Bill Hewlett and David Packard in 1939 and initially produced a line of electronic tests and measurement equipment. The HP garage at 367 Addison Avenue is now designated an official California historical landmark and is marked with a plaque calling it the birthplace of Silicon Valley. During 1941, 
Chan Vincent Atanasov and his graduate student Clifford Berry designed a computer that can solve 29 equations simultaneously. This marks the first time a computer is able to store information on its main memory. A Tanasov Berry computer, or ABC, was the first automatic electronic digital computer. Limited by the technology of the day and execution, the device has remained somewhat obscure. The ABC's priority is debated among historians of computer technology because it was neither programmable nor Turing complete, unlike the widely famous ENIAC machine of 1947 in part derived from it. During 1943 to 1944, two University of Pennsylvania professors, John William Markley and J. Presper Eckert, build the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator, or ENIAC. Considered the grandfather of digital computers, it fills a 20-foot by 40-foot room and has 18,000 vacuum tubes. ENIAC, or the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator, was the first electronic Turing complete device and perform ballistics trajectory calculations for the United States Army. Mosley and Presper leave the University of Pennsylvania during 1946 and received funding from the Census Bureau to build the UNIVAC, the first commercial computer for business and government applications. UNIVAC, or Universal Automatic Computer, is a line of electronic digital stored program computers starting with the products of the Eckert Mousley Computer Corporation. Later, the name was applied to a division of the Remington Rand Company and successor organizations. Next, the EDVAC or Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. It was one of the earliest electronic computers. Unlike its predecessor, the ENIAC, it was binary rather than decimal and was designed to be a stored program computer. ENIAC inventors John Mouchley and J. Presper Eckert proposed the EDBOX constructions in August 1944. A contract to build the new computer was signed in April 1946 with an initial budget of 100,000 US dollars. EDVAC was delivered to the Ballistic Research Laboratory in 1949. The Ballistic Research Laboratory became a part of the US Army Research Laboratory in 1952. Functionally, EDVAC was a binary serial computer with automatic addition, subtraction, multiplication, program division, and automatic checking with an ultrasonic serial memory capacity of 1,034-bit words. EDVAC's average addition time was 864 microseconds and its average multiplication time was 2,900 microseconds. The VINAC, or Binary Automatic Computer, built by the Eckert Maxley Computer Corporation, was the first general purpose computer for commercial use. The descendants of the later UNIVAC 1107 continue today as products of the Unisys company. Morris Vincent Wilkes was a British computer scientist who designed and helped build the electronic delay storage automatic calculator or EDSA, one of the earliest third program computers and invented microprogramming, a method for using stored program logic to operate the control unit of a central processing unit circuits. At the time of his death, 
Wilkes was an emeritus professor of the University of Cambridge. The EDSAC, or Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator, was an early British computer inspired by John von Neumann's seminal first draft of a report on the EDBAC. The machine was constructed by Maurice Vincent Wilkes in his team at the University of Cambridge Mathematical Laboratory in England. EDSAC was the second electronic digital third program computer to go into regular service. During 1947, William B. Shockley, John Bardeen, and Walter A. Britain of Bell Laboratories invented the transistor. They discovered how to make an electric switch with solid materials and no need for a vacuum. The concept of a field effect transistor was proposed by Julius Edgar Lilienfeld in 1925. John Bergheen and Walter Retain, while working under William Shockley at Bell Labs, built the first working transistor, the point contract transistor in 1947, which was followed by Shockley's bipolar junction transistor in 1948. From 1955 onwards, transistors replaced vacuum tubes in computer designs, giving rise to the second generation of computers. 1947, the Manchester Baby was the world's first stored program computer. It was built at the Victoria University of Manchester by Frederick C. Williams, Tom Kilburn, and Jack C. Tuttle, and ran its first program on 21 June 1948. It was designed as a test bed for the Williams Tube, the first random access digital storage device. Although the computer was considered small and primitive by the standards of its time, it was the first working machine to contain all of the elements essential to a modern electronic computer. As soon as the baby had demonstrated the feasibility of its design, a project was initiated at the university to develop it into a more usable computer, the Manchester Mark I. Grace Hopper was the first person to develop a compiler for programming language during that time. So this is the Manchester Baby. In 1953, Grace Hopper develops the first computer language, which eventually becomes known as COBOL. Thomas Johnson Watson Jr son of IBM CEO Thomas Johnson Watson Sr. conceives the IBM 701 EDPM to help the United Nations keep tabs on Korea during the war. Common Business Oriented Language or COBOL is a compiled English-like computer programming language designed for business use. It is imperative, procedural, and since 2002, objected oriented. COBOL is a primarily used in business, finance, and administrative systems for companies and governments. On 1954, the Fortran programming language, an acronym for formula translation, is developed by a team of programmers at IBM led by John Warner Bacchus, according to the University of Michigan. Fortran, derived from formula translation, is a general purpose, compiled imperative programming language that is especially suited to numeric computation and scientific computing. 1958, Jack Kilby and Robert Noyce unveiled the integrated circuit known as the computer chip. 
Kilby was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000 for his work. This is the original integrated circuit of Jack Kilby. During 1964, Douglas Engelbert shows a prototype of the modern computer with a mouse and a graphical user interface or GUI. This marks the evolution of the computer from a specialized machine for scientists and mathematicians to technology that is more accessible to the general public. So this is the first computer with a mouse and a graphical user interface. Next, during 1969, a group of developers at Bell Labs produced Unix, an operating system that addressed compatibility issues written in the C programming language. Unix was portable across multiple platforms and became the operating system of choice among mainframes at large companies and government entities. Due to the slow nature of the system, it never quite gained traction among home PC users. Last 1970, the newly formed Intel unveils the Intel 1103, the first dynamic random access memory or DRAM chip. The newly formed Intel company publicly released the 1103, the first DRAM or dynamic random access memory chip in 1970. It was the best-selling semiconductor memory chip in the world by 1972, defeating magnetic core type memory, the first commercially available computer using the 1103 was the HP 98000 series. While in 1971, Alan F. Sugart leads a team of IBM engineers who invent the floppy disk, allowing data to be shared among computers. To recall, floppy disk is a disk storage medium composed of a disk of thin and flexible magnetic storage medium encased in a rectangular plastic carrier. It is read and written using a floppy disk drive or FDD. Floppy disks were an almost universal data format from late 1970s into the 1990s, used for primary data storage as well as for backup and data transfers between computers. On 1973, Robert Metcalf, a member of the research staff for Xerox, develops Ethernet for connecting multiple computers, and other hardware. The Ethernet is a system for connecting computers within a building using hardware running from machine to machine. It differs from the Internet, which connects remotely located computers. Ethernet uses some software borrowed from Ethernet protocol but the connecting hardware was the basis of a patent involving newly designed chips and wiring. The patent describes Ethernet as a multi-point data communication system with collision detection. During 1974 to 1977, a number of personal computers hit the market, including Skelby and Market Altair, IBM 5100, Radio Shock's TRS-80, affectionately known as the Trash 80, and the Commodore PET. In 1975, the January issue of Popular Electronics Magazine features the Altair 8080 described as the world's first mini computer kit to rival commercial models. Two computer geeks, Paul Allen and Bill Gates, 
offer to write software for the Altair using the new basic language. On April 4, after the success of this first endeavor, the two childhood friends from their own software company, Microsoft. 1976, here's Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak start Apple computers on April Fool's Day and roll out the Apple I, the first computer with a single circuit board according to the Stanford University. The Apple Computer I originally released as the Apple Computer and known later as the Apple I or Apple-1, is a desktop computer released by the Apple Computer Company, which is now Apple Incorporation, in 1976. It was designed and handled by Steve Wozniak. The idea of selling the computer came from Wozniak friend Steve Jobs. And during 1977, Radio Shack's initial production run of the TRS-80 was just 3,000. It sold like crazy. For the first time, non-geeks could write program and make a computer do what they wish. In 1977, also Jobs and Wozniak incorporate Apple and show the Apple II at the first West Coast Computer Fair. It offers color graphics and incorporates an audio cassette drive for storage. And during 1978, accountants rejoice at the introduction of BasicCalc, the first computerized spreadsheet program. While in 1979, word processing becomes a reality as MicroPro International releases World Star. Well, in 1981, the first IBM personal computer, codenamed Acorn, is introduced. It uses Microsoft MS-DOS operating system. It has an Intel chip, two floppy disks, and an optional color monitor. Sears and Robot and Computer sell the machine marking the first time a computer is available through outside distributors. It also popularizes the term PC. While in 1983, Apple's Lisa is the first personal computer with a GUI. It also features a drop-down menu and icons. It plops but eventually evolves into the Macintosh. Well, the Gavillion's SC is the first portable computer with a familiar flip form factor and the first to be marketed as a laptop. Meanwhile, during 1985, Microsoft announces Windows, according to Encyclopedia Britannica. This was the company's response to Apple's GUI. Then the Commodore unveils the Amiga 1000, which features advanced audio and video capabilities. Also, during 1985, the first .com domain name is registered on March 15, years before the World Wide Web would mark the formal beginning of Internet history. The Symbolics Computer Company a small Massachusetts computer manufacturer registers Symbolics.com. More than two years later, only 100 dot coms had been registered. In 1986, Compact brings the Test Pro 386 to market. Its 32 bit architecture provides a speed comparable to mainframes. During 1990, Tim Berners-Lee, a researcher of CERN, the High Energy Physics Laboratory in Geneva, develops Hypertext Markup Language or HTML, giving rise to the World Wide Web. 
The hypertext markup language or HTML is the standard markup language for creating web pages and web applications. This format description applies to early HTML files created before the adoption of the first normal specifications for HTML, published in November 1995 as IETF RFC 1866, which is the HTML 2.0. In 1993, the Pentium microprocessor advances the use of graphics and music on PC. In 1994, PC become gaming machines as Command and Conquer, Alone in a Dark 2, Theme Park, Magic Carpet, Descent, and Little Big Adventure are among the games to hit the market. In 1996, Sergey Brin and Larry Page developed the Google search engine at Stanford University. Google is an American multinational technology company that specializes in internet-related services and products, which include online advertising technologies, a search engine, cloud computing, software, and hardware. It is considered one of the big four technology companies alongside Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft. In 1997, Microsoft invests $150 million in Apple, which was struggling at the time, ending the Apple's court case against Microsoft, in which it alleged the Microsoft copied the look and feel of its operating system. In 1999, the term Wi-Fi or wireless fidelity becomes a part of the computing language and users begin connecting to the internet without wires. Wi-Fi is a wireless networking technology that allows devices such as computers, where either laptops or desktop, mobile devices such as smartphones and wearable, and other equipment such as printers and video cameras to interface with the internet. In 2001, Apple unveils the Mac OS X operating system, which provides protected memory architecture and preemptive multitasking, among other benefits. Not to be outdone, Microsoft rolls out Windows XP, which has a significantly redesigned GUI. Meanwhile, in 2003, the first 64-bit processor, AMD's Athlon 64, becomes available to the consumer market. In 2004, Mozilla's Firefox 1.0 challenges Microsoft's Internet Explorer, the dominant web browser. And in 2004, Facebook is a social networking site launches. On February 4, 2004, Mark Elliott Zuckerberg launched Facebook from his Harvard dormitory room. An earlier inspiration for Facebook may have come from Philips Exeter Academy, the prep school from which Zuckerberg graduated in 2002. It published its own student directory, the photo address book, which students referred to as the Facebook. Such photo directories were an important part of the student social experience at many private schools. With them, Students were able to list attributes such as their class years, their friends, and their telephone numbers. While in 2005, YouTube, a video sharing service, is founded. YouTube was founded by Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and Judd Karim when they worked for PayPal. 
prior to working for PayPal, Hurley studied design at the Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Chen and Karim studied computer science together at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. YouTube initial headquarters was about a pizzeria and Japanese restaurant in San Mateo, California. Also in 2005, Google acquires Android, a Linux-based mobile phone operating system. Well, in 2006, Apple introduces the MacBook Pro, its first Intel-based dual-core mobile computer as well as an Intel-based iMac. Nintendo's Wii game console hits the market. During 2007, the iPhone brings many computer functions to the smartphone. In 2009, Microsoft launches Windows 7, which offers the ability to pin applications to the taskbar and advances in touch and handwriting recognition, among other features. 2010, Apple unveils the iPad, changing the way consumers view media and jump-starting the German tablet computer segment. In 2011, Google releases the Chromebook, a laptop that runs the Google Chrome OS. In 2012, Facebook gains 1 billion users on October 4. And in 2015, Apple released the Apple Watch. Then, the Microsoft releases Windows 10. In 2016, the first reprogrammable quantum computer was created. Until now, there hasn't been any quantum computing platform that had the capability to program new algorithms into their system. They are usually each tailored to attack a particular algorithm, said study lead author Shantanu Dernat, a quantum physicist and optical engineer at the University of Maryland College Park. And for the 2017, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, is developing a new molecular informatics program that uses molecules as computers. Chemistry offers a rich set of properties that we may be able to harness for rapid, scalable information storage and processing. Anne Fisher, Program Manager in DARPA's Defense Sciences Office, said in a statement, Millions of molecules exist, and each molecule has a unique three-dimensional atomic structure as well as variables such as shape, size, or even color. This richness provides a vast design space for exploring novel and multi-value ways to encode and process data beyond the zero and one of current logic-based digital architectures. That's all for the discussions, learnings, or ideas about the computer history. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.